To the table is what you get, the marriage secret. Everyone's got a road to make you beautiful, marriage secret. Ooh, marriage secret. Everyone's got a road to make you beautiful. Falling in love. I told you that I'm hungry, that I want to eat food prepared by you, my wife, not the one prepared by a comfort here, mate. It didn't make me yeah? look difficult. I did my best by coming down to this kitchen to supervise the preparation of your food myself. That is the point. That is the problem here. I said I don't want to eat food supervised by my wife. I want to eat food prepared by my wife, okay? Not comfort, please. Yeah? Food is food. Oh, God. It doesn't matter who or how it was prepared. I don't know why you are so engrossed with your phone. That's why you don't have time for me. You see? You see? Yes, you do. You have started a game. Don't be an ungrateful. And a nagging husband. I came off the same bed as you. You had me all through the night. And now you accuse me of not having time for you? See, um, babe. Love and marriage isn't that simple, okay? There are some little, little things that you will do that will make the, the, the bond strong, eh? Eh? You see, see, babe, what I'm saying is that as it is now, come, let me. Show you something. Come now. Come. Come. Wait, come, wait, come. Wait, 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 come. Come, come babe. What could make a phone stronger than good sex? When you want it and how you want it. Huh? Eh? You have me all through the night. You don't even allow me to watch the videos I love to watch. Okay. Um, yeah, come. Come, let me. Let's go. Come. Fall in love. Journey of love, journey of loyalty. Let's walk it together. We can make our world a beautiful place. Listen, sex is a sport if made to look like an entitlement. I would have gone out there, have sex with sex workers all through the night, but then. That wouldn't build bond. Men who patronize sex workers would be fine and bonded with them. But hey, they don't. Okay? So please, just understand it that way. And you think food is the best way to bond with you? Listen, I'm not a cook. You should have married one if you wanted someone who'll be serving you food all the time. Kara, come back here. Come back come here, Kara. Kara! Beautiful woman is not enough. What is wrong with you? Yeah. A sexy lady is not enough. A beautiful woman is not enough to make a beautiful woman. A sexy lady is not enough to make a beautiful home You've got to use your head to build your home Pump some math when the heat is high Talk some more than you used to do And bond, and bond, and bond This is the marriage secret Hoga, 
Oga, I don't serve your food. Call it the marriage secret. This is the marriage secret. Beautiful, loyal, and very hardworking. She's very patient and respectful. Karamara, I think. She is maltreating her by giving her punishing house jokes. I'm talking to her like she is less than a human being. But she is preparing her to become a better wife and a better mother tomorrow. Hope say you're not vexing I serve your food, please. Comfort, madam. I thought I told you to call me whenever this food is ready, so I'll serve him myself. Madam, no vex. Now, guys, are in the hungry, so make I serve him. Why didn't you come to the minute? No vex. I take my first minute. Useless girl. Come get from this place. Please don't worry her. I asked her to serve me this food, okay? Why, SDD? Why? I am your wife. You can't override my rights in this house. You have no right whatsoever to tell a maid, a common maid, to serve your food. Karamara, I have often told you that when a man or a woman begins to bring small, small problems into his or her marriage, that is the first time that she doesn't know what marriage entails. I am not blaming anyone. I am telling you what is obtainable everywhere. You are my wife, Karamara. You don't have to even feel insecure in your own home. If only you are adequately playing your role in this house. Hmm? Of course I knew it. You are a bloody cheat. So you started admiring her, be? You started admiring her the same way you did to Messi and Ekaite. Don't worry. Her days in this house are numbered. I will soon fire her. You don't have to fire her. You just have to be a good wife in this house. I mean, if you be a good wife in this house, you will not, you don't have to start feeling insecure. I mean, looking for who to fire. Just be you and stop uh, I will never be with anyone that wants to break my marriage. <laughs> you are a wicked man. You are. <laughs> Be powerful, beautiful, wonderful. This is not a way to make a beautiful home. You may be powerful, wonderful, beautiful. This is not enough to make a beautiful home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I oh, it is the marriage secret. Call it the marriage secret. I don't think he truly loves me. Because if he does, he wouldn't treat me the way he. I think so. We made the mistake of seeking love instead of reciprocating love. What do you mean? Yes. It is actually a selfish act to always seek for the one who loves you. If you are always worried that your partner does not love you enough, then Chances are, you are the one who doesn't love him. Mama, I love AZD. I do. But most times, he treats me badly. If he truly loves me, he wouldn't have disrespected me in the presence of the maid. I do not think he disrespects you in presence of your maid. You are rather the one who is actively trying to pass off your place in this marriage to your maid. How do you mean that? 
jealousy. It's a quality of love. If you do not have any qualms about letting another woman take care of your husband, then you are creating a very big space for that woman to Mama, one that you may never be able to recall. My daughter, it is a very romantic thing for your husband to request that you cook his food and serve him. Most of these small things matters than sex. Yes, because sex you can get anywhere. But you see, true love, respect, understanding, and true care cannot be found anywhere. Please. But Mama, I am not a maid. I mean, that's why we have mates. We are very salary. You do not pay anyone salaries to take your place in this house. What is wrong with you? Don't you know you have to keep and guide your place jealously? Let me tell you, if your man can go for this without missing the food you personally prepared, then chances are you have lost your man. Better know that now. But Mama, you know that I'm not a good cook. A woman trains her husband's test boards just like a mother trains her children's. When we see a child cannot say that his mother's soup is not tasty, we do not mean that the mother is the best cook. No, but rather the child has become so accustomed to the mother's food that no any other one tastes better. My daughter, marriage is a responsibility. It is a job and it is an assignment. So you have to keep working at it until you succeed, please. Mama, I do not know why you think the way you do about marriage. Your ideas about marriage are old fashioned. Old fashioned, you said. I am your mother. And being your mother, I have toyed with the same fantasies you are excited with today. Experimented with the ideas of freedom and independence like you are excited today. But my dear, the older we get, the clearer life becomes to us. Mama, you might have been a very good wife, so that. But your styles, you cannot work in our generation. Experience, they say, is the best teacher. But the wise ones hmm? <sighs> learn from other people's experiences. So hear me. I may not have been the best of wives to your father, but he tolerated me. And I learned a lot. And I wouldn't want any of my children to be thorns on their husband's heart. Hmm? Mama. A man who wants his wife to cook for him should go and marry a chef and not a graduate and a professional woman like me. Well, except you are saying that being romantic is old fashioned too. Cooking for your husband, just like being the only one who has access to his most vital privacy shows trust and trust my dear is the most romantic thing in love <sighs> Tino 
I'm really worried about SED. He seems stuck in the old idea that a woman must be under her husband. Ha! That's embarrassing. Do we really still have such men in this world? He had better sit up and understand that we are in the 21st century. Exactly my point, you know. Exactly my point. But my husband is not helping matters at all. Why don't you leave him? Yes. You see, life is too short to spend it with such a man who wants to keep him stuck in Stone Age. Haba, he hasn't gotten to that. Okay. Really. I was thinking you would help me with an idea on how to make him respect me more. I mean, he doesn't seem to understand that a woman is not less than him in any way. Well, it's about how you handle him. <laughs> you know, men can never bow to the idea of equality. Except the woman exerts her rights in the marriage. Wow. My dear, I exert my rights. But my husband is just very stubborn. And he sticks to his principles. What stupid principles are those? Then he would have gone to the village and marry one of those village girls if he was looking for a loyal wife. <laughs> Tara, you see, my husband, <laughs> he can never try such with me. I will skin him alive. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I will make life unbearable for him. Very, very unbearable for him. Really? Better sit up. <laughs> what if he asks for a divorce? <laughs> you know, when you give men too many problems, they might decide to take a walk. Divorce is always in the woman's terms. Divorce never favors the men. Really? Tara, better act fast. Whoa. A beautiful oh. woman is not enough. Yeah. A sexy lady is not enough. Yeah. A beautiful woman is not enough to make a beautiful home. A sexy lady is not enough to make a beautiful home You've got to use your head to build your home Pump some naps when the heat is high Talk some more than you used to do And bond, and bond, and bond This is the marriage secret You need some marriage secret This is the marriage secret Call it the marriage secret this is the marriage secret You need some marriage secret Call it some marriage secret You need some marriage secret Yeah, yeah, yeah Ayo Marriage is not a bed of roses Marriage is not a paradise Marriage is not a bed of roses Marriage is not a paradise It takes two to fight It takes two to conquer It takes two to bond as one It takes two to fight It takes two to conquer It takes two to bond as one Darling, I'm so sorry for coming back late It's my friend that kept me for this long so sorry. Mm -hmm. Look at how beautiful and how happy Tunu is in her marriage. She apparently married a good man. Mr. Ezidi is just a bad man. He doesn't understand anything. He doesn't have any respect for women. But, not to worry about that. I will deal with him. I will make him understand that he is indeed a woman's world. Daddy, I said I'm sorry. Listen, you have to be careful with this friend of yours that is keeping you this late. Moreover, I've not even met her yet. Darling, don't need to worry yourself. See, I am in control. Trust me. In control? Yes. Because I can see you losing this control. Come on, baby. Have you had something to eat? Nothing to say, man. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna walk straight into the kitchen and make you something sumptuous. Okay. And you thought I didn't know what to do, yeah? <laughs> okay. Alright, then you go. Another to the one, kitchen. another oh, one. Oh, babe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, we just I've been waiting. Yeah. 
I'll be waiting. All right. Again, again, again. <laughs> Another one. Come on, baby. <laughs> one again. Baby, no. <laughs> Is what you get, the marriage secret. Everyone's got a road to make you beautiful, marriage secret. Marriage secret. I fall in love, let you all. We walk on the aisle, let's make you walk forever. Like Sarah's day, and the walk will be made. Journey of love, journey of love. Let's walk here together. We can make our world a beautiful place. And what is this one thing? Come on, come here. Come on, sweet please. Sweet that place, please, is dirty. And be fast about it. Come on, come on, come on. Come to this place, hey. Fast, be fast about it, please. Just less again. Don't you can't even put it in the house. Cook, you can't. I don't even know what to use you out here. Eh? So not too fast, please. No, it's not too fast. Your husband asks you to do the right thing, but here you are harassing and abusing a fellow woman just because she's your staff. Who made that one a woman? That one, a woman. That smelling poor thing. Who can even do anything? Kara, that is a very rude way to talk about a fellow woman, not to talk of any other human out there. I don't care about that, Mama. I don't care. I guess she can't even do anything. I don't care, please. I don't want that. Listen, Kara. Comfort is 23 years old. You were her age when you got married. You are barely three years older. Please, treat her fairly. Treat her like your staff and not a slave. She has right to, you know, just like every other human being. I've heard you. Thank you, Mick. I overheard your altercations with your husband last night. Mama, I already know you will support him. I know. But I've made up my mind. You see, no one is going to trample on my right in this house. I am a modern woman and I will not slave. Being answerable to your husband about your movement does not make you a slave. Rather, it makes you a responsible wife. Mama, I am not the only married woman in this life. I know of my friends whom their husband respects. But Ezid is either is ordering me to serve him food or he wants me to explain to him where I am coming from. He wants me to wash his clothes or probably bet him. My daughter, I am your mother. And I will not deceive you. 
But no woman keeps a happy home with this your mindset. Your friends are probably lying to you. They're not telling you the truth. And if you are not careful, you will lose your home while they keep theirs. Mama. And they will scorn you for a fool. Mama, I am not going to lose my home. I will not lose my home. I am only requesting that I should be treated like a wife and not a slave. And even if I uh, lose the marriage, divorce favors women, and you know that. Hmm. Cara, my daughter. Anyway, I wish you best of luck. Hmm? You may live to cry tomorrow and soon after now. A union of love, respect, and understanding. Ooh, marriage, it is a beautiful thing. A union of love, respect, and understanding. It is the marriage secret. What you bring to the table is what you get, the marriage secret. Everyone's got a road to make it beautiful, marriage secret. Ooh, marriage secret. I fall in love, leave you all. We walk on the aisle, let's make you walk forever. Let's all stay. The world could be made more beautiful for protests and make it work. Is a journey of love. Excuse me. Journey of love. Let's walk here together. We can make our world a beautiful place. What is the matter with you? What is your problem? This is more than two weeks now we have sex last in this house. And I've been begging you for this. Hmm? I don't even know what my offenses are. Listen, Lady Lynn. I am not your sex doll. Oh, don't you get it? <sighs> I would have sex with you when I want to, not when you want to. Please. Allow me to sleep. Babe, I am your husband, okay? <sighs> Come on, where do you want me to get this from? Huh? Please, listen. Being my husband does not give you the authority over right. oh my body. I will decide when I want to have sex with you and when I don't want to. And I expect you respect that about me. Please, I want you to sleep. Please. And it doesn't really matter how your husband feels about this. It doesn't matter. And I'm not your sex slave, for Christ's sake. I am your wife. Can you just calm down? Please lie down, okay? Lie down. Leave me alone, please. Must I beg everything? Eh? Please, okay? Come on. Kara, babe. I have to bed He thinks he is stubborn. I will use sex as a weapon to make sure he submits to me. He will not see Bakam until he agrees to everything I demand. <laughs> hmm. When they say bottom power, some men don't understand. 
there is no better punishment to a man than denying him sex. Mm. We shall see. When a man decides to be responsible, he is regarded as a weakling. And some unintelligent women will take advantage of that. I have many beautiful girls around in my workplace and elsewhere who will be glad to, to sleep with me, but I try to be faithful to my wife. She thinks it's a way to punish me, but she doesn't know that she is destroying this marriage. I hope she takes responsibility for her actions eventually. to recognize. Your husband needs to understand that sex is in your powers to give and not on his terms. The best way to bring a man to the negotiation table is to deny him sex. <laughs> you mean it? Yes. See, when they have this erection, ah, they are ready to do anything and agree to anything. But what if he goes out to ease himself off? You don't need to bother yourself about that. A side flick is a side flick. They can't enjoy it as much as when they are relaxed at home with their wives. Nothing beats that. Hmm. <laughs> I think I love the sound of that. Uh, trust me now, you know everything. To use your head to build your home Climb some naps when the heat is high Talk some more than you used to do And bond, and bond, and bond This is the marriage secret You need some marriage secret This is the marriage secret Call it the marriage secret This is the marriage secret You need some marriage secret Call it a marriage secret. You need to marry secret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I oh marriage is not a bed of roses. Marriage is not a paradise. Marriage is not a bed of roses. Marriage is not a paradise. It takes two to fight, it takes two to conquer, it takes two to bond as one. It takes two to fight, it takes two to conquer, it takes two to bond as one. Uh, uh, mm. You may be powerful, beautiful, wonderful, this is not enough to make a beautiful home. You may be powerful, wonderful, beautiful, this is not enough to make a beautiful home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I oh, it is the marriage secret. Call it the marriage secret. You need the marriage secret. This is the marriage secret. Karamara, yeah, yeah. Karamara, yo, yo. Why are you all alone this late in the night? Ezidi was disturbing so much. So I left the bedroom for him. My dear, it is a thing of honor for a man to desire his woman. And you should feel happy he finds you attractive. Mama, you like to give me all these your old school ideas about a man and a woman's relationship. This is 21st century. A lot has changed. My dear, nothing has changed. Nature is nature. Love is love. There is nothing 21st or 10th century about natural sexual feelings. 
There is, Mama. There is a lot more. You see, in your time, a man may have a woman anytime he desires. But now, it has to be mutually agreed on. Time is gone when a man's wife is treated like a sex toy. Hmm. My dear, someone somewhere might be feeding your head with very bad ideas. As long as humans exist and still have sexual feelings, a woman feels some sense of security in her marriage when her man constantly desires her. It is a natural feeling, not activism or some kind of facts. Mama, I know you care about me and you want the best for me. But there are things you do not know. This is our generation. And the way we do our things are different from your own generation. Total. Nothing has changed from my generation to yours mm -hmm. or from my mother's generation to mine. Humans remain humans and a man will be happy to know that his wife will open up to him when he needs it. A woman will feel sense of security and be happy that she's still attractive to her man. That is for women who do not understand their powers. Hmm. For me, I know my rights and I utilize them well to gain the respect from my husband. Caramel Delta. I pray you do not learn a very sad lesson from this. Have a good night, Mom. Good night, Mom. Submit to one another out of reverence for Christ. Wives, submit to your husband as to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church. Husband, love thy wife as Christ loved thy church, and he gave himself to her, that he might sanctify her, having cleansed her by the washing of water with word, so he will come and collect the church to himself in glamour without spots or wrinkle or any such thing. The word of the Lord. The Lord bless his word. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. All right. Good morning. Good morning, baby. Mm -hmm. Okay. How many times have I told you that I do not have to discuss everything with you? What makes you think I'll obtain permission for you from going to church? I mean, Kara, my dear, why are you modeling things up? Why do you make it look as if I am depriving you of your freedom in this house? What do you call it when you have to explain every of your movement to a man? That is slavery and not marriage, please. Karamara, I will only advise you not to go out from this house at this time of the night. 
So, what are you doing now? You want to stop me from going to church? I am not stopping you from going to church, Kara. I'm only advising you that it is late and you are not going out from this house without my permission. Without your husband's permission. Husband. So be my husband now makes you my master. Eh? Does being my husband make you my master? Oh, really? Maybe you have to go back and study that your Bible very well. Instead of mere sake of going to church. I go to church to listen to my pastor and not to read my Bible. I didn't tell you I want to become a theologian or did I? Kara, I don't want to fight with you this night. Okay? What I am saying is that I am advising you. Only an advice. Go up there and rest. That's your business. Oh, really? Scar! Go back here! I leave to cry tomorrow and soon after now. You may leave to cry. Karma! If he stops a lot, he wants to know every of my movements. And I think he is too possessive. Wow. That's so great. What's great about that? You know, he's believing he owns me. Yeah, that's not just a very bad thing. Would you say that? A man shouldn't have the sense of entitlement towards a woman. I am a human. And I have several rights, as he does. Well, if you say so, I agree with you. Yes, I say so. I say so because gone are those days when men expect their wives to be answerable to them at all times. I am not his need, nor his partner. I am a woman and I deserve some freedom. Kara, you are correct. I want to go to church. He queries the party time. Oh. I want to hang out with friends. He wants to know those friends. I want to see my family members. He wants to know who. Do you know I'm tired? I am tired. Sure, you should be tired. You know, I actually think I made a mistake in marrying that man. I did. Maybe you did. You know what? Just, just drink up. Drink up. This is not my problem. Kara, I said drink up. Come on.
I hope everything is all right. He doesn't seem to be bothered about me anymore. He doesn't even ask of my whereabouts. Neither does he seem bothered when I return home late from anywhere. Am I sure he still loves me? Or maybe, maybe he's getting tired of me. 12 midnight. What could he still be doing in the sitting room by this time? No. No, everything is not alright. Daddy, is everything all right? How do you mean? You seem to be avoiding me. Come on, what do you mean? I mean, you seem to be worrying about insignificant things and they are not helping. Not getting my husband's attention as I used to is not insignificant. Please, tell me what the problem is. My love, I don't have any problem with you. There is none at all. And you left me in the room and slept on the sofa? Left you in the room? Come on. I am working. You can see that. I have some new target to meet up with. I need to get this thing done. You could have walked in the room. Walked in the room? You know that would be a distraction. I don't want that now. Oh. I am now a distraction. I, I, I didn't say you were a distraction. Come on. You stop nagging. I just trying to explain to you what I'm doing here. So you just stop with all of that, please. But you, 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 don't, you don't seem to bother about my whereabouts, even when I come back home late from work. Okay, now that's because I trust you. You are not jealous anymore? There is no need for I just said I trust you. It's not enough reason for you not to bother about your wife's whereabouts. You used to bother about those little things. Not anymore. Right? Not anymore. We are grown-ups now. We are all mature. But there's no need for us to keep walking up on each other all the time. We just um, need to give some space. I trust you. I said that, okay? So, there's no need for that. Space? Yes, a little space. No, I don't want such space, Amiga. I don't. Um, listen, we go and walk through all this. We go and walk through all this. It's gonna be fine. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't make any noise. Come on. Okay? Mm -hmm. It's gonna be fine. My daughter, you call your pastor daddy, you obey him, you even give him more time than you give to your husband. Mm -hmm. That is because he's a man of God. Is your husband a man of Satan? He's just an ordinary man. He does not have spiritual powers. Listen, my dear. Your husband is your boss. He is your owner and should take precedence in your life before anyone else. <laughs> yeah, mama. Mama. You and this is your old-fashioned theory about marriage. Yeah? Mm -hmm. My daughter. Yeah. Theories about love and marriage never go out of date. There is a universal principle of reciprocity, which makes marriage and human relations 
thrive in peace. And that includes me being his slave. Well, if that is how you, you, you want to see it, all I know is that your husband deserves your respect and honor. If you say so to your pastor, then it is hypocrisy not to give same to your husband. Mama, listen, my daughter. I know you are not a happy woman. Forget the pretense. Why not give your husband some peace and see if you will not become a happier woman? Trust me, you will have more peaceful mind in this home. Mama, AZD is too troublesome. It's the reason I'm not happy. I can't be happy with a man who treats me like I'm his subordinate. Being his subordinate doesn't make you less powerful. Neither does it make you less useful. In fact, it is in accepting that you are a subordinate to your man that you yield the greatest power. Yes. Mama? I don't think so. My daughter, I am your mother. I have more experience than you. It will please me if only you listen to me. Because that way you become a much happier woman. Please. Hmm? That one, she go here. <laughs> There's no way not to hear what. She go here. Hmm. Damn. Oh. Come back here. I said, come back here. Allow me to go now. What is this? Okay. Kalamara, what is the problem? I need my money. But I told you I don't have money now. I don't have money. I shall pay you when I get it. When? I'll you keep saying you. when you get it. Is it going to take you forever to get the money? It's not going to take me forever to pay you. Please. You are aware that I have a lot of responsibilities in this house. Ah. That is because you are wasteful. I am not wasteful. You don't know how to gather money. And when I tell you to allow me to handle your finances, you won't let me. Yes, I, am, I am not wasteful. Okay? If I allow you to do that, you know that we won't take care of this house. <laughs> we will not. I lent you that money on an agreement that you pay me in six months. Okay. Six months. Okay. It is one year after. Okay. And you keep saying you will pay me. Please. I need my money to take care of my personal problems. Oh, your personal problems. I know it. Is it not your personal problems? Your money is good to solve your personal problems. And mine is good to solve the, the, the house problem. Is it not? Yes. Oh, really? Are you the head of the house for nothing? Oh, really? It is your responsibility to take care of me and the entire house. And it must be irresponsible for you to think that I will let you have my money because you're taking care of the house. Karamara, you are pushing me too hard. You are really pushing me too hard. And I don't know how long I am going to tolerate this nonsense from you. I will pay you your money as soon as I get it. And that is final. As soon as you get it? Yes. You've kept saying as soon as you get it. It is why you already. What have you been doing with all the money you've been making? Okay, really? So you want me to number them for you? Maybe I should remind you. I should remind you that I am the one paying house rent. I should remind you all the responsibilities I'm taking here. I should remind them the one taking care of you. Even the pant and bra you're putting on. The soap. Even the as little as salt that you use in the kitchen. Yeah? I should remind you. By the way, this money you are talking about, is it, is it half of the rent that I pay in this house? Or have you been able to ask yourself this simple question? You sit yourself down, you ask yourself this question, 
How do I manage to pay all these things? Have we been able to do that? Pay my money, pay my money. It is none of my business. I know. These are your responsibilities. I know too. Okay, fine. Kara, I agree. Okay? Fine. I am going to pay. I agree. Okay? I will pay you. I will pay you this money next month. Okay? Okay? Next month? Yes, next month. <laughs> next month? <laughs> Do you know I said next month? Because if it does, <laughs> I'm going to show you the other side of me. Oh, really? Let me know I see Oh, really? Come here. I go, who is, who is, you know, go hear me. I know they see you again. See, comfort, eh? Don't mind me. Now, nah, so so walk. My girl will take me for this house. So. Walk, okay. Yes, now. Nah. Yeah, what's not be to open gate, close gate? What's in there, dear? See, gate man walk now. Nah, don't upgrade, though. He don't pass the open gate, close gate, too. Uh -huh. I go open gate. I go close gate. I go wash car. I go water garden. How come they want some family problem, John? Family problem? Yes, now. Nah. How come? You know, see, my organ is a tough man. Eh? And anything where my oga we go make my oga vex, my mother no go like doing. Eh? Yeah. Now so? Yes yeah, so. Now so you know say for marriage to work, now for the two people to understand themselves. Mm -hmm. Yes now. Nah. I be the thing say your oga na cool man no. Oh. We no they disturb at all. Cool man ke? Eh. <laughs> well, you know say like dog. Now name where woman calling husband. Now you go answer. Ha be yo. Yes na. Na true jo. Ha Zimba. My baby. Zimba Zimba. Come for come for. I go to see you another day. Come for the day. I go come. <laughs> I know I know you don't do. They go you don't start. <laughs> bye bye. To make a beautiful home. Yeah yeah yeah. I oh. It is the marriage secret. Call it the marriage secret. You need some marriage secret. This is the marriage secret. Karamara, Karamara, you hardly communicate. You don't concentrate, oh. and you're always absent-minded. You hardly concentrate in the office, and you don't even speak with anyone. You don't communicate. <laughs> that is the problem. My dear, nothing is a problem. I'm just building a new idea it's in my head. So I'm fine. I am. That's not true, Izidi. You need to confide in someone. Mm -hmm. You need to share your problems with someone. You need to speak with people. Maybe not me, or not somebody in the office or around our workplace. Or even around your environment, but you definitely need to share your problems with someone. Something is definitely taking a toll on you. My dear, <laughs> that is no problem at all. Okay? I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> you see, you see, Ezidi, I've been watching you for a while now. Your work rate has dropped. You don't concentrate, you don't come out for meetings. And your dress isn't as good anymore. Something is definitely eating you up. Hmm? It's 
It's okay, please. It's okay. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. It's, okay. Okay. It's, it's okay. It's okay. It's fine. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. fine. It's fine. We'll talk better, okay? It's fine. It's okay. Please don't do that. I'm fine now. Are you sure? Yeah, I am. You're I'm okay. fine, okay? Yeah. Marriage is the sweet soul, not people with this, I didn't make and so. Marriage is the beat, not people with this, I make and so. Marriage is the sweet soul, not people with this, I make and so. Marriage is the beat, not people with this, I make and so. You love me, I respect you, respect me, I love you, I the key to happy marriage be that. Marriage is the sweet soul, not people where they inside the make and so. Marriage is the sweet not people where they inside the make and so. Marriage is the sweet soul, not people where they inside the make and so. Marriage is the beat, not people where they inside the make and so. Marriage is the sweet soul, not people where they inside the make and so. Beautiful, wonderful, this is not enough to make a beautiful home. You may be powerful, wonderful, beautiful, this is not enough to make a beautiful home. Yeah, 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 yeah. I owe it is the marriage secret. Call it the marriage secret. You need some marriage secret. This Mama, is the marriage. Are you saying I should forfeit the money to me? I never said so, my daughter. But you should know better to know when your husband is struggling. It is your duty to help and support him, not add to his pro uh, troubles. I am not adding to his troubles. Though. I only ask that he pay me the money he borrowed from me. That's all. The money he used to solve a family problem. Eh? That's his responsibility, not mine. No. It is the responsibility of both of you. If he has, he will solve. And if he doesn't, you help him. Not with the money I determine to use for something else. Oh. What if he decides to use the same money he uses for the family to take care of his own problems? Mm -hmm. Or do you think he doesn't have personal problems? Mm -hmm. Then he should first take care of me, his wife, and the entire family. That is where you get it wrong, my dear. Mm -hmm. And it also devalues you as a woman. A responsible woman should not be a burden to her husband. Instead, she should help him in carrying the burden placed on him by life. Ah, mommy, I'm not a burden bearer. I am his wife and I'm meant to sit down here and enjoy myself. You get it all wrong again, my dear. Wifehood comes with responsibilities. You should be a woman your husband remembers and have peace of mind, not one who gives him hypertension. If he wants to get hypertension because I asked him to pay me my money, he can as well go and get it. I don't care. Nara, mm -hmm. how many times did I call you? Hmm. You're making a very big mistake, mm -hmm. and I hope it's not too late before you realize it. Amen, hey, Mama. <sighs> hmm. They say experience might be the best teacher. But wise people, they learn from other people's experience. Because experience, they cause where, where. <sighs> yes, I respect women a lot. But I know I have not been lucky. But I believe that in a woman's heart lies the greatest gift a man can get. Is it you? Let me tell you something. Women, look, look, listen. I know you are a feminist. You've always been a feminist. And you see, people like you, 
are the ones women take for granted and messed up all the time. I don't give them that chance at all. Maybe huh. there is this say that goes this way that good things come to bad people. You know, you know, and you know these are women. They usually take gentility as timidity. <laughs> is it there, my friend? Women are not supposed to be treated with kids' gloves. They are supposed to be harassed, intimidated, embarrassed. Do you understand? Do all of this and watch them come to you with loyalty. Unfortunately, Emeka, I do not agree with you on this. <laughs> there is this fair popularity says that, that the women, mm. though, have not been able to prove this your point wrong. Right? But then, you know, I think they respect more bullies like you. They are very loyal to bullies like you. Let me tell you something. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Go ahead. Women are wired and created like that. They cannot be any different. Do you understand? Any that is why I don't give chances to that. No, no, no. You see, Emeka, I cannot accept this from you. I cannot accept that women have to be treated like lower human before they will be submissive to you. I didn't before say Before they so. will be loyal to you. Oh. I mean, even if I'm not being lucky, that doesn't make them a, a, a lesser human. Oh. It's all about luck. Luck? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do not think so. Women respond to how you treat them. Human. Not just women. There are some people who take your gentility, your compassion, your loyalty for granted. Men and women alike. So all I'm saying is, mm. let's respect each other. Mutual respect. Nobody's disrespecting anybody though. Oh, no, 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 not a bully like you, Naimeka. I know you. I'm just setting the standard. That's just it. But being bullying them cannot help us, of course. You see, is that not, is that not, is that not Kara? Is that not, is that not, really? Are you sure they are not aware that we are here? You, you, you can see them enjoying each other's company. You can see. And how are you sure that they don't know that we know each other? I, I guess not. I guess not. Should we surprise them? Surprise them? How? Let's surprise them? How? Let's go to their table. No, Let's no. join them. No, no, no. Calm uh, down, Ezidi. Uh, no. Now I know you don't know how to handle the ladies. Things keep getting worse in my marriage. To me. Kara, I didn't mean to deceive you, but marriage is work. For you to make your marriage succeed, you need to put in the right amount of work consistently. But I thought you said it is best I exert my rights. Yes! A woman must exert her rights. Ah. I've been doing that. But you see, the more I do, the further he goes away. And I sincerely feel that I'm losing him. Kara, every marriage has its style. I can't tell you how I make my husband to be loyal to me because you're not married to the same man. Look, let me tell you, it's an opportunity for you to call your wife and know she will lie no, to you. No, no. You see, I'm not going to call her. You know, I don't want it to sound as if I'm disturbing her. Oh, oh okay. I don't want to disturb let me, her. Let me do this for you. Yeah, let her have it. Let her just start her time. Sorry, I have to take this. Hello, boss. Hello, babe. Where are you? Oh, sorry, I'm hanging out with a friend. And what is the name of your friend? Oh, no, you don't know her. Her name is Kara Mara, but I call her Kara. All right, then. Just make sure you come back early on time to the house. It's fine. All right, boss. <laughs> 
<laughs> I told you she won't lie to me. Anyway, I told you. I've never told you that my wife lies to me either. Anyway, so it's just that, you know, you are lucky. <laughs> Your no, my husband. <sighs> Your what? Yes, my husband. You mean you call your husband yours? Of course. <laughs> Tino, 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 Tino. What an evil can sell. What an evil cancer to Karamara. Uh -huh. Papa, I am tired of this marriage. I am tired. Karamara is too stubborn. Karamara does not have respect for me. Karamara insults me at every little thing. Papa, look at them, Emeka, uh, my friend. They are enjoying their marriage. Eh? Hmm. Is it in myself? I want to say a big thank you to you for letting me into your marriage troubles. As you can see, there is no perfect marriage. Every marriage is work in progress. You can't go ahead and compare your marriage to another. As a man, you need to strive hard to make your marriage work. Papa, I have tried. I am very, very, in fact, I am done. Papa, I wish you understand. Karma is too stubborn. She is too stubborn. This, my wife, she denies me everything. She denied me sex. Eh? Yes, Papa. This my wife does not cook at home. She does nothing at home. She does nothing at all. If I ask her, where is she going to? She will not tell me. And if she comes back, I ask, where is she coming from? She will not tell me, Sam. Papa, am I the only man that is married on this earth? I mean, look at my friends. They are all enjoying their marriage. My son, do you know the meaning of your name? AZD meaning good husband. But the worst thing that can happen to any man is to compare his marriage with another. Because there is no two marriages that are the same. Or is there any two women that are the same? You need to go home and make a marriage work. I'm tired. I am very tired, Papa. In fact, Papa, I am getting a new wife. Eh? Yes, Papa. I am getting a new wife. <laughs> Today, now, nowadays. Let me tell you. You have not finished the one you are marrying. And you are thinking of marrying another man. AZD, let me advise you. There is no perfect marriage out there. I have seen your wife. What she lacks is maturity. Just give her time, she will come back to her senses. And not only that, she will have grown her childishness. Do you hear me? And by that time, you will be a good man and she will be a good wife to you. Papa. Papa, it seems you are not understanding what I'm telling you, Papa. Karamara is too stubborn. She's very, very stubborn. Do you know that Karamara's mother has been advising her, talking to her, but she, she wouldn't listen. The only advice your wife will get is the one that she will advise herself. Never mind. I will give you a key secret that you will attend to your wife so that at the end 
she will now realize that you are a better man. <laughs> I think I'm beginning to agree with you on so many things. <laughs> My daughter, I am your mother. Even if I may not have gone to more schools than you, but at least I have seen more years than you. And you know, there is no better education than the one afforded by life's experiences. My friend, she shocked me today. Oh, what did she do? You know, I used to think that she's a staunch feminist who wouldn't be controlled by a man. Mm hmm, so what happened? Could you believe she calls her husband boss? That's interesting. I needed to see how she blushed when her husband called. Hmm. That thing must be a very wise woman. Wise? I don't think she's wise. She's a weakling and also a deceit. Why do you think so? She's a weakling. Men are not meant to be worshipped. And I call her a deceit because she's the one that actually encouraged me to treat my husband the way I do. You're just but a little child, my dear. The true definition of feminism is a woman who knows her powers and values. One who understands that being a woman is all that matters. But a woman who competes for authority with her husband devalues herself my daughter but mom do you have always made me believe that she's a hard nut to her husband that is because that is what you want to hear she does not need to teach you how to handle your home if your marriage fails what's her business Well, I know you always support her. No. Rather, you should know that I will always support the truth. Eh? I will always support the truth. Hmm? Please. Okay. You still have a lot to learn in life, my dear. Bounce. I'm not happy with you. What is it about this time? You didn't keep to our promise. Really? You know I always keep to my side of the limit. Yes, but on this particular one, you failed. What about it? Kumli. Okay, Kumli. What about Kumli this time? We had an agreement you'd be sending him money every month and he stabilizes oh, his no, work. No, no, no. It's my younger brother. I am so very sorry. You leave me alone. I forgot to wait for last month. I'm sorry about that. Yes, he didn't ask, but okay. I promise he's a promise. Yeah, true. You were saying the business was so bad last night. And plus, I had to run so much expenses. You understand? But this is not an escape. I'm not actually giving myself an escape. I'm just telling you. No. I'm so sorry about that, but it's fine. you should have put me on the know. Yeah, I don't bother you. Well, let's do this, all right? By like, tomorrow, yeah. you remind me so I can make some money to Is that okay with you? Yes, okay. thank you. But you don't need to worry about it since it's not convenient this month. Um, how about we make it up to him this month? Wow, that's wonderful. You see? That is why I always call myself lucky. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. We'll smack on it. Uh -huh. I'm going to smack on it. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the bedroom. <laughs> Mm. 
a woman who ends her husband's trust is the wisest and strongest. Yes, you will do your face anyhow. Eh? Because she can get her man to do virtually anything with her submission and her respect. She weakens her man. Yes. How oh, I wish you could peep into some of these homes where you claim that these tough men are. If they have wise wives, they are the softest men on earth when they are home. You need to see them. So what is your feminism? Let's go, let's go on, Jerry. Feminism and whatever, I don't understand. Let's go. It's a beautiful union. This of a marriage secret. Ooh. This is the marriage secret. Call it the marriage secret. This is the marriage secret. You need some marriage secret. Call it the marriage secret. You need some marriage secret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I oh marriage is not a bed of roses. Marriage is not a paradise. Marriage is not a bed of roses. Marriage is not a paradise. It takes two to fight. It takes two to conquer. It takes two to bond as one. It takes two to fight. It takes two to conquer. It takes two to bond as one. Uh, uh, you may be powerful, beautiful, wonderful. This is not enough to make a beautiful home. You may be powerful, wonderful, beautiful. This is not enough to make a beautiful home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I oh, it is the marriage secret. Call it the marriage secret. You need some marriage secret. This is the marriage secret. Karamara, Karamara, you. Unfortunately, you said this several. But I just think, is it? I just think that there's some kind of way you can spice your marriage. Look, my brother. My wife is my wife. Your wife is your wife. And I can change my wife because my wife is not my mother. I can change her. <laughs> 
<laughs> I just I just don't want you to to meet the wrong person, the worst person this time. Okay. Sincerely. Why well, say thorns? <sighs> that girl is every man's dream. She brings light to my life. You see that brother? Mm. When a lady wants to seek a man's hand in marriage, mm. she does about everything. She puts up the right attitude to make her think, to make you think she's all good and fine. That she's good and fine now doesn't mean she's better than your wife, Kara. But there is a limit to pretentious and make her mind. And you know that. Of course I know that. There is a limit, my brother. That is why I don't want you to make the worst mistake. Mm. Let me ask you. Mm. Is Chelsea aware that you are married? Of course. And she agrees to date you? Of course. Hmm. Look at me very well, my brother. Can't you see how I'm glowing? Can't you look at me? I'm almost... My self shadow. Can't you see? There's a whole lot of changes in me. Is it? I, for one, I am not a puritan. Okay. I don't have a problem with a young girl trying to make a married man a fling or something. <laughs> you are right, my brother. Yes. Okay. But when a young lady mm -hmm. is doing everything possible to hook a married man, and advent in displeasing his wife. Believe you me, such girls are very, very dangerous. My brother. You see that girl? She never planned anything. She don't even have a mind to go as deep as we are now. Right? But believe me, we are good. Ezid, I just hope you will not make the worst mistake this time. I'm not. I'm not. No, listen to me. Kara mm. was a wonderful girlfriend. Mm -hmm. That was why you married her. Mm -hmm. Now, unfortunately, mm -hmm. she's not a pleasant wife. <coughs> Alright? What gives you the confidence that Jose will be a wonderful wife as she is a girlfriend. Tonze is different. Listen, you are my friend. Okay. We've been together for years. Okay. And um, for, for, for one reason, the reason of coincidence, our wife are getting along well, very well, of course. Mm. I will want your marriage to work. Thank you. But I just think that Maybe a change of style <laughs> is something you need <laughs> at this time.
to fix our nation. I'm obedient to the call. I follow Sabi Road. There is nothing you can say. Let my party all the way. I'm obedient to the call. I follow Sabi Road. There is nothing you can say. Let my party all the way. Who is Obi? Obi is a man, no. And he got a dream to fix our nation, no. Peter Obi. Obi of Labour Party, yeah. He got a dream to fix our nation, oh. Can you see the writing on the wall? Oh, can you see? Can you see the prophecies coming true? Coming true. Can you see the writing on the wall? Oh, can you see? Can you see the prophecies coming true? Coming true. Ezidi, Papa. no man has an easy marriage. Did you hear me? And it's not out of place to say that every woman is the same. I'm not far from the truth. Every man must always devise a strategy of handling his wife and his home. Marriage, they say, is like a warfare. You don't need to be proud when you lose it, no matter the excuses. But, Papa, I am tired. I am tired. I am just tired, Papa. Eh? Can't you see? Let me tell you, the woman that is in your house might be a devil, but a devil is better than the angel you don't know. I want to tell you that a woman never truly unravel herself until she finally taking the life or see the life of his man and his home in her hands. Okay. Papa, now in all this preaching now, what do you want me to do? No, what do you want me to do? Like, I don't know. I am tired, Papa. I can't continue like this. Son? I can't, Papa. I can't. Go home and make peace with your wife. When a young lady is doing everything possible to hook a married man and advance in displeasing his wife, believe you me, such girls are very, very dangerous. Huh. They don't want to understand my situation at all. Huh. They are all interested in having me embrace the same woman that has made my life miserable. <sighs> okay. Okay. 
What you get, the marriage secret. Everyone's got a road to make it beautiful. Marriage secret. Marriage secret. Fall in love, let you on. We walk on the aisle, let's make you walk forever. Like Sarah said, and the walk will be made. Journey of love, journey of loyalty. Let's walk here together. We can make our world a beautiful place. Hold her tight and leave her alone. Shed her from fear. Open your heart to her. The love is so beautiful. Union. It's a beautiful union. These are the marriage secrets. Mm -hmm. Marriage, it is a beautiful thing. A union of love, respect, and understanding. It is a beautiful thing, a union of love, respect, and understanding. It is the marriage secret. What you bring to the table is what you get, the marriage secret. Everyone's got a road to make it beautiful, marriage secret. You are an irresponsible, useless man. I even regret marrying you. And is it too late? Is it too late? I'm asking you. You can walk away. The door is open. You can go. And I assure you one thing that as soon as you step out from that door, another woman will walk in. Never! I am a rightfully wedded wife. This is my house and no one can take my place here. I will never leave my matrimonial home for anyone. Matrimonial home. Matrimonial home, you said. Matrimonial home is not a nice structure. It is far beyond empty sitting rooms, beautiful bedrooms, and well stocked up kitchen. And let me even tell you, my dear, matrimonial home is about emotions, it's about understanding, it's about spirituality. <laughs> Cara, are you even sure that you've not lost this your matrimonial home? Did you just say that to me? Yes. 
How dare you? Jesus! You did lay your hands on me? Yes, I did. And what will you do? Son. Really? Son, son, son. This is it. Lay your hands on me. This is it. No, Papa, leave him. Let him hit me. No, hit me as a did. It's okay. Hit me. Don't lean. Fool! Mara passed. Mara, please, leave me. Let me talk to this man. Who does he think he is? It is in resisting the worst temptation that it tastes of man's maturity is going to stay. Huh? Papa, why are you saying all this? Why are you saying all this? Boy, you saw it! You saw her! She slapped me! Yes, just calm down. This silly girl that has sworn that I can never have peace in this house. I did not do anything to this silly girl. Do me a favor. Papa, listen. This girl has sworn that I will never enjoy this marriage. This stupid girl here. You are the one that is stupid. You know what? Come along with me. Let us talk to ourselves. Man to man. Come. Please come. So which mother in love? What? Come, come. Let's go. 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 It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Lord, I don't blame you. Okay. I do not blame you. Like father, like son. It's okay. okay. It's yours. My lovely wife. I remember the day you opened your door, and I'm so happy about that. Please, do us a favor. Prepare my favorite meal. I'll be back. So, the greatest temptation that comes to a man is from a woman, and it takes the great anticipation of a man to strive with it and come up with something. Thank you. Papa, he seems not to understand. Karama is a thorn on my flesh. You don't, you don't, you don't understand, Papa, what I'm passing through. Uh, you make me to remind me of how I married your mother. But time came and age, they all took them away. And everything was just the way it is. Papa, did Mama ever slap you? Mm hmm. That's it. <laughs> My son, hmm. I will not tell you everything that happened between my wife, who is your mother, in our marriage. Because the most beautiful marriages are the most imperfect ones. Why, Papa? No, why? Hmm? Why? Because I don't understand anything anymore. Mm -hmm. A man must restrain from beating his wife, even in retaliation, because the world will never understand. Why, Papa? Women can see as weaker vessels, weaklings that can never be wrong. But sometimes, they can be very, very much annoying. They can as well push you so hard that even though you did not control yourself, at the end of the day, you will ruin your life. So, have you imagined what will happen when you hit back with the strength of a man? Can you? If she raises alarm that you abuse her, my son, the authority will come and pick you and probably put you in jail for violence against women. Papa, that is it. That is the point here. And nobody is talking about violence against men. <laughs> nobody is talking about that, Papa. No, 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 no. That is the fate of a man. It is believed that no woman can abuse you.
may suffer all manner of abuses every day. Yes, my son. That has been that way. A man is expected to endure in all situations like this. Why, Papa? To save yourself, you could commit murder if you would have reacted the way you naturally wanted to react. So, if you hit a woman back when she hits you, she will definitely suffer more injury and no one would believe you that she was the one that first hit you. But that is most unfair, my son. Being a man is a bigger responsibility than having a mere protruding apple in between your ties. <laughs> it's not a laughing matter. You have to restrain so hard not to do or beat a woman. So, Papa, in all this your sermon, all this your teachings, all this your lectures today, what do you advise me to do in the midst of this extreme provocation? Eh? My son, eh? I will not lie to you. Do not raise your hand on the wife or any other woman. If your provocation gets to that level, all you need to do is to pick up your car and leave the house. Mix up with the boys, discuss politics, discuss football, discuss women. By the time she knows that she has lost it, she will definitely come back to befriend you. You know, Karama is very stubborn. She is very, very, very stubborn. Don't conclude yet. Oh, you saw what happened today? Yes, I did. Don't conclude yet. Just give it a try. You will find out at the end of the day, you have a peaceful and enjoyable. Marriage. Let's go. These two fine husband and wife. Mm. Who think they make them they always fight like this? You see what thing I say for that their marriage. Mm. Not me say they don't like themselves. Mm. They like each other. Where where? You see what thing I see? Now nah, understanding they don't just get. Hmm. My Oga and a wife, they don't understand each other. You see? Now why I like my Oga and my madam? You see those two people? Eh? If they, they fight or they, they quarrel, no, just put mouth. So, because uh, very soon they go so settle. Now, so marriage is supposed to be now. Now, so it's supposed to be. But wait, oh. You're a okay, your madam. Now, so they always quarrel. Yes, so. Now, so. Now, that they won't tell me one story. He said for their wedding day. Now, so the wife fight now. Now, so they quarrel for their wedding day. You mean now? I just understand them. For their wedding day? Yes. This is the marriage secret. Call it the marriage secret. This is the marriage secret. You need some marriage secret. Call it the marriage secret. You need a marriage secret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I oh marriage is not a bed of roses. Marriage is not a paradise. Marriage is not a bed of roses. Marriage is not a paradise. What is happening here? Kara, you are wasting so much time. What is going on? We are late. Don't stop me, please. What is your problem now? I didn't say you should not dress up. I said we are late to church. Huh? The catechist said that this mass is for 10. And this is past 9. And you are still dressing up. 
catechist does not have any right to command us. We are not his staff. Today is our day. Please, let's dress well. We're not having another way to start tonight. And that is why we have to get it right this time around. You should have woken up early if you know that you're going to do all this. If you know that you're going to paint your life, you would have woken up early so that you'd be able to prepare early. That is none of your business. Yes. You can go to church if you like. After all, we're all supposed to be in church at the same time. So if I go to church and wed myself, I won't wed myself. Let me tell you, this wedding should not be cancelled, okay? Do you get that? You should cancel it. Yes, you should cancel it. Come, is it? Don't make it look as if my life depends on this wedding. I can even call it off myself if you keep harassing me. What, 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 what nonsense are you talking about? Are you that stupid? You should have told me that you are not prepared for this wedding. We would have wait, at least. And I'm telling you now. I'm telling you now, it's not too late. God, what nonsense are you talking about? Yeah? What do you mean? I have spent so much money preparing for this wedding. And you are aware that our friends are out there waiting for us. Yeah? Waiting for us to come out. And you are telling me that you want to come out this wedding. Why are you so unreasonable? Why? What nonsense? How dare you? How dare you speak to me in that manner? Is it because I'm getting married to you and I'm no longer interested? Hey, what is so happening this? here? What is it? Today is supposed to be your most happiest day. Why are you trying to sigh it? Mama, I'm not I think we need to go back and agree on certain things before we proceed. What happened? Eh? I do not like the way ACD speaks to me. It's obvious he thinks that having waited me, I'm some kind of subordinate to him. Hannah, my daughter, I think you are the one who should talk to yourself. You seem not um, mentally mature for marriage. I don't understand. Yes, maybe that's why I said we should call off the wedding because I'm not going to take this insult and disrespect from anyone, all in the name of marriage. And are you ready for the opium you face? Is it they might have spent money, a lot of it, but you, you will lose your face forever. Don't you know that? See, I am in no mood to start explaining anything to you right now. Let's hurry up and go get to where they okay? I will explain everything to you when we come back. Yes, yes. Mm, let me see, let me see. Yes. See, Lulu, uh, move uh, Yes, keep a happy face, okay? All through the ceremony. Don't forget the world is watching and the world can talk, okay? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Mmm, what the hell has joined together? Table is what you get, the marriage secret. Everyone's got a road to make it beautiful, marriage secret. Marriage secret. Fall in love, make you all. We walk on the islands, make you walk forever. Like Sarah's say the world could be made more beautiful for protests and make it work. It's a journey of love, journey of loyalty. Huh. Now, wow. She get mind, do. Nobody says she get mind. Now, small picking will worry her. Now, maturity, my madam, no just get. 
Now small picking the warrior. <laughs> you see why I'd always talk, see? Me two people matured first before they marry. Like me and you now, so don't mature like this now. So if we marry, probably no good dinner. Maturity not be by him, June. Sure, you know. Person fit there 40 years, make you not mature. And if you see person with the 16 years, make him mature. Where, where? So not be by age. Eh, that uh, one true, not true. So. Not true. Not true. Hmm. Not so, not so it be. Look at one day go. Uh. No say if my madam no dinner, me be kitchen wife. Mm. <laughs> my dear, no can go turn to him, but you don't have to. <laughs> Good job. Hey, oh. Hey, oh. <laughs> How do I resolve this mess? The company has been running on losses for the fi past five months now. If care is not taken, we may run into bankruptcy. And there are so many expenses to be sorted out. In a few months time, I am really, really afraid of the future. What if this company goes under? God forbid. God forbids. I do not know how much longer this is going to continue. You walk your ass out and it feels like you're not doing anything at all. Since gifts are dropping drastically. Oh my god. The cost of running business is going up day by day. God. And yet, there is no commensurate increment in price of our services. <sighs> Debts are piling up. How can one be walking like a donkey and eat like an ant? Eh? Hey. This is not fair. Oh Lord, I am looking up to you. I am looking up to you, God. Darling, what is the problem with you? Your mood has not been okay for some days now. What is it you're hiding from me? Remember we swore to love each other, to share our burdens and Pursue our sources as one soul in two bodies. It is a sign of infidelity. If, if you choose to bear this burden alone, then my shoulder is readily available to help.
Baby, can we, can we please talk about this tomorrow? No. I know you're I know you're concerned because you don't need to be worried. But I assure you, I will be stronger than you believe. No matter how heavy the load might be. It will lighten your burden to know that I am not afraid nor worried. Come on. Talk to me. I will help you. Do not allow this to overboard in your heart. I may bring a solution, who knows? Careless with money, you handle your stats with levity, and you won't even take my ideas on how to make your business grow. Why are you so insensitive? Why? Just tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me why you are so insensitive. Eh? Why are you adding to my pains? That is why I don't bother myself discussing my personal problems with you, because I know it's, it's, nothing will come out of you, nothing. Nothing. It's a lie. It's a lie, is it? It is because you hate me. You disrespect me. You think I do not have any good idea concerning your company. You know that's not true. You know that's not true. You have never brought a constructive ideas towards solving any problem in this house, not even in my business. What you are good at is blame. You blame me here and there. You blame me, blame me morning and night. That's what you're good at. That is because you Bless. don't listen to me. You don't respect shut me. Shut up. Just shut the hell up, you, you irritant. I don't even know what got me entangled with this son called a wife. Just tell me. Tell me what am I doing with you? Eh? What nonsense. You can call me whatever you like. Ruth. But remember, the house rent is expiring next month. I have an appointment with my doctor next week. And I need my school fees before exam starts, so you better know what to do. You can go anywhere you want. Go, just go. Go and look for it. Are we not two adults in this house? Eh? Are we not two adults? And I do not see where it is stipulated that I will, I will take care of everything in this house. So, if you know what is good for you, Go out there, go and look for anywhere you will get the money, okay? And stop disturbing me. You lie, Ezidi. You lie! So let's run away from your responsibilities. You think being a man is by the word of the mouth. You will go out there and look for what is supposed to be the If not! Ezidi, if not! If you see this not. house! You see this house! If it not, will be what? too hot for you! If not, what? Man. I want you to happen! You have to do anything! Yeah? You must go and look for that money. You will go and look for that money. Big yacht. This house will not contain me and you. This house will be very hot for you, this less man. Go out and look for money. I will kill you here. You have to restrain from beating a woman. Raising your hands on a woman makes you a weakling. When it gets to the point of you getting angry to that extent, please leave the house. Because if you hit a woman based on your anger, the world will not see it the way you are seeing it. Did you hear me? When you get to that level, pick your car keys and leave. Did you hear what I said? Yes, Papa. No, you didn't hear me. Did you hear what I said? Yes, Papa. Thank you. You want to beat me? Oh, yeah, now hit me! Hit me! Miss Lesma, that's what happened. Don't let you know how to do. Woman beat her. Woman beat me. Let me see. I'm Ah! <laughs> 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 
That's the only thing you know how to do. Baby, you know I was a bit skeptical. You're going to blame me for the mistake I did for the business to have a little problem. But now I truly understand the word. A problem shared is a problem solved. Thank you very much, my love. Well, I am happy you did not withhold anything from me. With prayer, more work, and careful reinvestment, you would come out of the wood even way better. Amen to that. Amen, Amen to that. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, now let's go to bed, okay? Okay. So sorry about this, my daughter. I hope it heals up completely and fully soon. And I told you he's a bully. He, he, he doesn't deserve me. Yeah, I think he overreacted. No matter the provocation, there's no reason to hit a woman. He beat the living hell out of me. If I had managed to escape, it would have been a different story altogether. I think I'll have to talk to him when he comes home. There's no need to hit you like this. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> You derive pleasure in Western food in this house. Yeah? Yeah? What do you mean by Western food? So, because I married you, mm -hmm. I shouldn't eat in this house again. You and I know that you can't finish this food. Yeah? You just want to be wasting my money. You are honest to just waste money. Yeah? You mean eating food is wasting it? I know. I know you get it. And you feel so sad whenever you see me enjoying myself. You know it's not true. That's not true. Huh? You and I know that you cannot finish this meat. This this chicken. You and I know that you can't finish it. Yeah? And that amount to wickedness. That is a wickedness from you. Yeah? Kara. Is it lesson? I did not leave my father's house to marry you because you see, we are hungry. You see? You see? We have enough food. Enough to feed your entire village. You are very stupid. So stop harassing me because of food. You are very you're a wicked woman. You are very, very stupid. Yeah? What do you care for? Do you do you do you care? Do you consider my progress? Yeah? Do you consider how I'm struggling to make sure that everything is intact in this house. If not that you have sworn that you make my life miserable in this house. Yeah? I know they have sent you from the pit of hell to, to torment me in this house. But I will survive you. I will survive you. Okay? I will survive you. You're a good for nothing man. Your mates buy private jets for their wives and they don't even make noise because of ordinary, ordinary rice. Hmm. A bag of rice that's less than 50k. Not even basmati rice, so local rice and a cheap <laughs> broiler meat. That is why you're disgracing yourself this morning. Have you bothered to find out why some men buy private jets to their wives? Why some will have the money and they won't? That is wickedness. Hmm? Naughtiness. Wickedness. 
Okara. No man is wicked to his wife. It's all about trust. Any man's trust and when he's sold. It's your real self as the poor wicked man that you are. Hmm. A good man is a good man. He doesn't count those things. Oh yes. Every human does. You don't need to be a man to reward loyalty and fidelity. Have a nice day. Nonsense. Don't worry, we will have some in the house that will last us for some days. Are you sure? Yes. You know we've not got to be ready for a couple of days now. <laughs> I had to devise a way of managing things due to our financial situation. Besides, I got some things from Dad. Oh no, not again. Come on. You don't go putting that old man. <laughs> I'm sure you've not told him about our financial challenges. Yes. And he's even sad you didn't come to confide in him. This is not necessary. We cannot bother him with our issues. Come on. He doesn't see it as such. He even complained that if you had seen us as family, you would have confided in them. Besides, when you were buoyant enough, you supported everyone in your little capacity. It's nothing bad. Ah, but, but it's not necessary. We don't need to go bothering him about that. <sighs> will you call him? No. Yes, I mean, I'll call him to greet him though, but not to bother him with our little issues. Uh, he doesn't see it as such, babe. Uh, just call him. Oh, uh, maybe why not stop by tomorrow on your way back from work? No. Come on. Uh, Our situation is not that bad. And you've been helpful. I mean, it's great, right? Plus, we are gradually going out of the situation already. Come on. You're right, if you say so. I said, okay. You make your man distrust you when you waste his wealth. It is a worse infidelity than sleeping with another woman. Mama, I think it is poor men who worry about how their wives eat or simple things like how much soaps are being used in the market. No matter how wealthy a man is, he doesn't like his wealth being squandered. Most men marry because they want their women to help grow their wealth and to safeguard their investments. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Such men should hire business managers or financial advisors, not only their wife to one. Okay. What exactly do you think a wife does? Just sit at home, eat, sleep, and nod at her man? That's not right. Bring a wife and tell a whole lot of work and work. Mama, that's what's there. Not now. All the time, a woman's responsibility never changes. Same as a man's duty. Respect, loyalty, understanding are the key, my dear. Let it sink in, please. Is it delay? You are becoming a don't trust man. Is it delay? Yeah, yeah. Baby. Shit. I want to take care of today's bills. You've been taking care of the bills all this while. At least let me pay today's bills. I know. Hmm? But then don't forget, I am the one that initiated this idea. So allow me to pay the bills today. Okay? Come on, babe. That's chivalistic. It's nothing. I'm just like saying a woman is a liability that has to be taken care of at all times. Okay. You guys get all those things wrong. Okay, fine. Let me tell you something. Mm. This is how 
life have crafted it to be, right? Man have to take responsibility of his wife, of his woman. <laughs> and you know I love you, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, See, mm -hmm. a woman can also take care of her man's responsibility. Oh, really? Oh, it's really? a mutual thing. Okay. No one was born to take the other's responsibility. Mm. We all had all TM. We should take care of ourselves, right? Oh. You're right. Mm -hmm. These are strange ideas from you. These are the correct ideas, is it? Oh, really? I feel insulted whenever you feel you must have to provide for my needs at all times. Mm -hmm. Or am I invalid? Maybe. A relationship should be symbiotic, not parasitic. Mm. You know what? You win. <laughs> you win. But you know what? Next time, mm. next other time, mm. I'm gonna sort the bills. Okay? I will allow you. We are going to stop. Yeah. Yeah. Is it delay? You have been coming an adulterous man. Tonze, Tonze, A union of love, respect, and understanding. Oh, my wish. It is a beautiful thing. See, no. I'm not a happy I don't know what to do. That's so shocking. Your husband seems to be good, so why are you not happy with him? I don't know, but I think I follow your pattern in your marriage. What pattern? You never allow a man to tell me what to do. Isn't that what you told me? No, Kara, you got it all wrong. See, no woman. No one, in fact, no one should tell you how to live in your marriage. This marriage is something personal. But you seem happy, and the marriage is obviously not working out. Maybe. Not all marriage is perfect. Every marriage is a work in progress. We keep learning the ropes, learning our spouse, making mistakes and correcting them. Do you mean you let your husband tell you what to do? <laughs> Kara, when you call him your husband, it's, it sounds too official and difficult to understand. Okay. Don't your friends tell you what to do? Or rather, don't you differ in some things with your friends? I do. So, who is your husband? My husband is my husband. Oh, God. My husband is my friend, my lover, my confidant, my boss, the father of my children. I take special care to ensure that my relationship is smooth. When we fight, we make up quickly without inviting an outsider into our space. That's important. You know, I always suspected that you were deceiving me. Deceiving you? How do you mean? I thought you were a strong feminist who would not allow her man to dictate her life for her. I adopted the same pattern. Now my marriage is falling apart. And yours is obviously blossoming. That's a very unfortunate thing to say, Kara. I am your friend, not your guy here. Besides, I never asked you to disrespect your husband. See, okay, maybe I tried that pattern early in my marriage, but understood quickly and I changed. But you should have told me so I could change too. Now I'm in a deep mess. And my marriage is falling apart. Oh, my mom wants me. <laughs> Kara, you need to be mature enough before getting into me. Ah, you deceived me! The fact 
after you keep making excuses for the failure of your marriage is enough reason that you are not mature to be your wife. Kara, <sighs> you seem to. What's the problem? Is that not a ZD? With another woman over there. AZD. Who is AZD? My husband. <gasps> this is so bad. What are you going to do now? Mm. Go right there. Beat the living daylight out of that girl. Don't even try it. You want to go and beat your fellow woman because of a man. That's an irresponsible thing to do, Kara. Ah, <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> okay. See, Kara. The healing of your marriage can start in an unusual place and manner. How? I think it's time to prove to your husband that you are better mature now. Okay. Take a seat. Go sit close to them. Greet your husband. Smile at the lady. Order a drink and enjoy. Act to see if it's nothing. But you know. That's a very difficult thing to do. How do I pretend like I don't care when I hope you are sleeping? Pretense is a sign of maturity. When a woman hides her true feelings, it proves mm. that she's matured. Keeping your emotions in check. Mm. It's part of the skills that keeps marriage working, both for the male and for females. Oh no, how do I do this? Kara, take a step. This is an opportunity for you to recover your marriage. Mm. Just go. That is Kara. I mean, this is bigger than a Hollywood movie. <laughs> yeah. But she's so mature. Is that what it is? As troublesome as she's been. My dear. Oh, no, 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 no. That's my wife. Don't worry. Fine. I can handle it, okay? Is that okay? I need to come back. Okay. Okay. Come back. Yeah. Cut together. Okay. Who is that? The lady of the Oh, sir. Really? They set up. This one has set up. My dear, this is strange. Stranger than the movie scenes. Really? She's such a kind lady. Is that what you think? Is that what you think, my dear? Come on, come out of it. I'm not sure that is Kalamara. If she's the one, that means it's a setup. It's a very big setup for me. But you know what? 
I wonder that. One, I wanted to feel at ease. Eh? Yeah, my please drink. Take your drink and make yourself so comfortable. It doesn't matter, okay? You can imagine. I don't drink for us. Let me even finish this one that I do that for. Should I open this one for you? You need to be fine. Okay? Are you okay? You will regret it. You will cry so hard. You will regret it. When the chips are down. It's not about bottom power. It's not about your beauty. It's not about your right and Lord. Carry on, my little angel. What's happening? You seem so relaxed. And there hasn't been any call in this house for some time now. No more. So the mirror. Yes. I think. Praise be to God. And I can see you're putting a very good effort in becoming a better woman. Congratulations, darling. Thanks, Wallace. Let's see how he comes out. Just keep at it. It's going to be difficult, though. But. Men are usually difficult when you are trying to win them back. If you persist, you will win them forever. You know, I have never been as determined as I am right now. <laughs> I'm going to win this battle, no matter what it takes. This is the marriage secret. Call it the marriage secret. This is the marriage secret. You need some marriage secret. Call it the marriage secret. You need some marriage secret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I oh, marriage is not a bed of roses. Marriage is not a paradise. Marriage is not a bed of roses. Marriage is not a paradise. It takes two to fight. It takes two to conquer. It takes two to bond as one. It takes two to fight. It takes two to conquer. It takes two to bond as one. Uh, uh, you may be powerful, beautiful, wonderful This is not enough to make a beautiful home You may be powerful, wonderful, beautiful This is not enough to make a beautiful home Yeah, yeah, yeah I oh It is the marriage secret Call it the marriage secret You need some marriage secret This is the marriage secret 
Karamara, yeah, yeah, yeah. Karamara, yo, yo. Karamara, yeah, yeah, yeah. Karamara, yo, yo. Karamara, yeah, yeah. Karamara, 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 yeah, karamara.